You know, in a perfect world, I will be a doctor because I was very good with sciences. Whenever I did biology in school, I always say this, not like I'm bragging, but I always had like 100%. It was like I was, biology was easy. I loved, you know, nature. I loved you know, cases. When I was young, I would go to hospitals just to see how people were faring on their hospital beds. I was very passionate about it. I was very, very playful. You know, in school, I was playing at work. I, I was playing all through. And even though then it, it, it put me in trouble a lot because my parents would always scold me for playing and do so, you know. But I think it's still in my nature today. It helps me through life. I chose to become a lawyer because I wanted to fight other people's battles for myself indirectly. Not because I was facing the issues that they were facing, but I benefited from it. Um, I started fighting from 15, but I really didn't see any wins, if you get what I mean. But through other people's lives, through making people happy, I became really, really happy. When, when we live in a society where everyone can access fairness and equality to whatever it is, whether social, economic, political, whatever, then that is justice, you know. And like we always say, if injustice to one person somewhere is a threat to justice everywhere. So it's not it's not an individual thing. It's a collective it's a collective concept. I've been a lawyer for six years and I have worked in on international levels. Uh, UN, African Commission, name it. But you don't get the sense of value like you get here at the Hague Talks. Because you're in this space where everyone is real. People are talking about their issues, their ideas. You can tap into people's emotions and feelings.